Okay, I'm just doing a small little short video. Uh, this was for the patch notes for the 23rd for King's Raid. Uh, they have balancing adjustments, hero adjustments, James Scarlet and Euro. Information regarding immovable effects of Mark Adele skill 2. Uh, the effects increases 20% upon you, stack 5 times, mark of death. Um, the effect enemies engrave mark take 25%. Increased magic damage is removable, but when you use Transcendence Perk Dark skill 2, it becomes irremovable. So, you gotta do Dark for, okay, so... I was wondering if something was wrong with my Jane lately, so now I know. The effect increases all crit resistance of allies by 250 for 10 seconds. Can be found both in this true might of Orville, just to serve dark and duration activated. We got some new costume, swimsuit, uh, and wedding. Uh... You'll be able to obtain 2% EXP boost, 1 gold for Lagro, Lavro, Amelia, Lucreo, Cruze, Demia, Hilda, Asha, Ezekiel. Costumes, motions added for the wedding. Uh, they are each uh, want to have its own signature moves or uh, changes. Heroes Jane illustration, illustration Hank Jane, Hero Jane will be improved. Uh... Quality improvements in motions and effect hero Jane Scarlet. Quality normal attack skill motion effects will be improved for hero Jane and Scarlet. Yes, Gear War. Gear War Global Preseason is open. Regular season Gear War starts March 29th through June uh, 7th. So preseason proceeded instead of regular season. Eight rewards will be similar to regular season. Did they change anything though? Uh, improvement to gear war. The prices of some items have been changed, and new items will be added. So we'll go and take a look at that. All in one special summons guarantee rewards. So every time you summon an all in one ten special through special stop summoning. Guarantee reward gauge increases by one. The guarantee reward gauges increase summoning with Ruby. Oh. Ruby, please be reminded summoning with tickets won't count. Boo. Upon reaching a certain number of summons, you'll be able to obtain guarantee rewards gauge will be reset upon obtaining 20 summoning rewards. Okay, let's see. You are improving the world boss on battle screen. World boss will be improved. 51 solo ranking match. Sethrail. Challenge rate balance adjustments to Sethrail will be increased by 10%. Excuse me. I was trying to sneeze. <laughs> Bug fixes. Uh, hero modeling and skills fixes. Issue placing with the Call of Dawn head accessory in the honor. Uh, accessory shop was different than the main hero fix issue with some of the fix vessel dark spirit skill four was shown abnormal wearing the shadow of Gen uh, Genia segment has been fixed. Issue where hero Kara Sage weapon state removed abnormally in Galgoria and Sifri raids has been fixed. The issue in which monster summoned by the Skeleon 1029 can be aimed properly to Hero Cleo's Fire Rain 3 with monster song summoned behind the Skeleon has been fixed. Oh, that's a soul summoning. Um, the issue which Kybera 3 Demonic Swords Light Slash Dark Transcendent Perk wasn't applied properly and the Crypts have been fixed. The issue with Dark Lord Calvo. Judgment Blade skill 1, counter attack enemies from behind at the same time has been fixed. Issue with Nala's normal attack dive bomb skill 3, worked abnormally when enemy hero skill made to move backsides allies has been fixed. 
the issue with segment, winds, hatred, skill, one dark, did not remove positive effects from enemies in Pacific situation has been fixed. The issue with effects of Shemex T5 dark transcendence, transcendence was applied to majority of allies during Pacific situation has been fixed. The image with damage was not applied after removing positive effects on the first hit. Tanya used Whisper Death Skill 3 in the state of stealth has been fixed. Um, this brought out two issues in order to remove a positive fix and the first hit were applied differently. In the second skill random six times target was removing positive effects when the first hit were all different. The issue number one has been fixed through our maintenance February 2nd, but we have encountered an issue during number two battle. Content and display uh, fixes. Dialogue, story, and chapter 9, Pandemonium, has been fixed. It's one of the artifacts, relics, holding the uh, holy sword power, dark castle carols of story, and some lines of hero in will be fixed. Hero story destroying the artifacts, Pierce Lugo will protect the world, heroes in to destroy Lugo's artifact is my life, my person's existence to destroy a pillar of Lua. This uh, issue, which was freezing at the victory battles on some devices. Oh, that's been going on a while. We'll see. And brand page, wallpapers, ray illustrations will be added to the brand page. That was the patch note. <laughs> I know. Y'all like, oh my God, all this. That's okay. <laughs> But I know now I need to change Jane, Jane to dark now. <laughs> so. Alright, hey y'all. Uh, We just gonna go and probably I might look at... I might like look at the costumes. This is just gonna be a little short something. I'm not gonna... Look into all of this. Oh, okay, it better been. Thank y'all. It better been hitting that uh, raid. Well, maybe Guild War get done. Hopefully, soon. Hopefully. But uh, we'll go and take a look at uh outfits. And just see for a minute, shop wise and other stuff. Let's see. Oh, they on sale. Okay. Oh, so they got all of them kind of on sale right now. Got Kirze. Got Artemia, got Lavro, Ezekiel, uh, Asha, Dementia. Okay. Gimme, I mean. Okay. Okay. Oh, they didn't change how it used to. You could just click on it and it'll show the window of how the costumes look. Oh God, no, bro, no! <laughs> I don't be too much that nose, but that's okay. They are all right, but I was looking for something else though, real quick. Let me look at this summoning, cause since they didn't say it's something about the summoning. Let's see. 
I'm gonna just test it real quick. Just to see. Just out of pure curiosity. Sorry, it might be a little bit lagging. But we we just gonna see. And you know I still had seven. So we just gonna do one summoning and see is it gonna actually give me anything or that's just something I didn't came up with. So sorry for the lag on this one. It's really lagging too. But that's how it is after update all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't see it saying anything. Well, I still got oodles out of tickets, so they ain't counting those. So, oh well. <laughs> And we gonna close chat right now, cause oh my girl. Do something else, I'm gonna try to just speed through this. This will be just like a little bit mini recording. I ain't gonna make this too long on here. Uh, I am gonna do one more thing here though. I'm gonna switch my Jane over to, uh, switch my Jane over to dark. That's what I was going to do. But I do need to make some more changes on my Jane anyway. So, you know. I just need to make some changes on my Jane anyway. So, this really didn't matter. Oh my goodness. And this is why I usually don't play right after an update. Because they just, depending on the device. But let me go on and change this real quick with Jane. Gonna change this with Jane real quick. Better let me get on her. I know I really don't have my stuff set up perfectly for her. I just kind of work with what I get. Okay, I do have her set on her dark skill. Okay, I do have her set on. I thought I didn't have her set up on her dark skill. So, I had to go and recheck that. But still, I might have to rechange some rooms on her anyway. Because uh, as of late, maybe because of what they had to do the updates on, maybe she now where she at and I might not have to change. Uh, I just want to do this quick little, uh, I am Hannes, your trainer. after we upgraded the guild thing, uh, the guild command center, the stuff definitely did start to finally light back up, so hopefully I will keep on upgrading more on that for guild. 
And, uh, oh yeah, that's why I was checking it too. No, okay, so I thought they was going to finna have something for Gear War, so. <laughs> I hope that the changes they make actually be hitting on something, actually. I'm hoping. Okay, conquest not open yet. So hope to get that. Let's check out the uh shop. Which one which one of the shops they say that they changed the Guild War shop? Hell. Oh, okay. That's how they changed the gear shop. Uh, they have now the normal ticket artifact and soulstone fragments. That's all. That's 50. So those are the two changes they put on the shop. And let's see. Did they do any changes to... Besides the Beast of Chaos uh, gear ticket thing, now that was kind of neat. Let's see, did they do any other changes to any of the other shops? No, not really. So those was the big two changes they did. Okay, so that was the two big changes the uh that they had made for uh the update. And just showing to y'all that we do clear our stages. Oh, and they have a rich goblin. Oh, yeah, because we won the rich, uh, rich goblin reward at the end. I wonder what that is. Let's, let's take a look. Let's see. Look, see, look, see, look, see. Oh, uh, I'm just going with who, I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to go on and try Fallen Fray again. I tried another little upgrade. Let's see what happens with her. Let's see, let's see what happens with her. But yeah, I remember we won the get Rich Goblin ticket the last time. So, okay. Get to see what this is. It wasn't too much left because all my kill mates pretty much then wiped it. <laughs> it wasn't too much left. <laughs> so I was like the last one in because I haven't been able to get on. Like, get on. So I was like the last one. So it didn't count my damage <laughs> since it was just a couple of pieces. But, okay, so that was the little rich goblin ticket or box that we kept getting at the end of stuff. And I guess it activate an extra little dungeon. A little extra dungeon. Rich goblin, clear, congratulations. Rich goblin has been defeated. Rewards will be given out to all guild members. 
Okay, box drop of by Rich Goblin. You can attain one legendary frame and memory frame and unique weapon frame and unique treasure frame and a stolen, stolen ticket. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's what that was. Okay. Cool. But as you can see, we, we, we do pretty somewhat good, but that does take up that does take up your actual turn. That's one in on it. <laughs> uh, I didn't get nothing. But uh but uh Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I was gonna check. I was gonna go on and summon it. If I can summon it. <laughs> If it's not gonna pause up anymore, I'm gonna only summon it. Okay, and I got 500 unique treasure fragments, so I'll be saving up again for some summoning. So, this is the King's Ray update, just letting you know what's going on. And hopefully maybe they'll get Gil War another conquest on the road. My guild is uh anime party. We are looking for tackles. Uh still cause I wanna uh fill up our guild to a full uh crew of fifty. Active crew of fifty, so we still needing a few folks, so come on in. And we do have a Discord as optional. So this is user Wern and the game is King's Raid and I'll catch y'all later.